From his studies of ancient footprints left in mud, Curry estimated the six-foot-tall dinosaur moved about 15 miles an hour. When it wasn't hampered by mud, it could probably run much faster. Albertosaurus and the other connoisseurs were probably not as fast, though most paleontologists agree they could outrun a human. Some estimate they could move up to 40 miles an hour. Just in speed and size alone, these were terrifying creatures, but it was their arsenal of killing tools, including their jaws and powerful necks, that inspires awe. Most think of dinosaurs as giant creatures, but many were quite small. It wasn't until the end of the Cretaceous era, 65 million years ago, that the giants truly emerged. Their rise to dominance was destined 200 million years ago, when the supercontinent of Pangaea broke in two. The newly forming mountain ranges of inland seaways isolated the dinosaurs into smaller and smaller groups. This geographic isolation is the primary event that makes evolution work. It allows for greater diversity. As the land masses drifted apart, both plants and animals began adapting to their new environments by evolving a variety of strategies for survival. Among the plant eaters, ankylosaurs developed heavy armor and a club tail. Triceratops evolved shields and enormous horns. And the seismosaurus simply grew huge, as big as five elephants, the largest animal ever to walk the earth. In the game of survival, size proved to be a successful strategy. But when sheer size wasn't enough, some plant eaters found safety in numbers. They formed herds for additional protection. To keep up with their prey, meat-eating dinosaurs grew larger as well. But size wasn't enough. To maintain their advantage, they had to be smarter and faster. If they weren't, they would starve. 